Here's a quick preview of what we're going to cover in class on Monday. I've added a new project in my RSocket folder, which goes ahead and shows how to apply reactive programming capabilities to implement a client server application that demonstrates the use of ChatGPT and the Stanford Core NLP library to perform sentiment analysis on famous quotes from William Shakespeare. And you can find this in the EX3 folder in that particular project. So let's go take a quick look at the project. I'll I'll run it while I'm talking about it. So it's going to go off and run. And the uh, it's an interesting project in general, and we'll talk about this in class. But the main thing I want to focus on is the use of this chat GPT sentiment analyzer, which is basically just an R socket controller using Spring, where you can pass it Shakespeare quotes, and it will go ahead and build the appropriate message using JSON and then send it to the openai.com chat completions endpoint. And that will then take the request, since it's in the right format, run it through ChatGPT, and then it will send the response back as a JSON encoded HTTP response. And we'll, we'll talk about this all in class, but basically there's this sentiment anal analysis mechanism, which takes a request from the client and it generates a prompt given a Shakespeare quote. It then goes ahead and uh, in, in cases that prompt in JSON, it then goes ahead and makes a request to the underlying web service that is provided by ChatGPT. And all of this, of course, uses reactive programming and WebFlux and so on. It gets the response back, parses it, and then returns the G GPT analysis of the quote back to the client. So just for fun, let's go ahead and see what happens when we run this program. As you can see here, it starts up and provides a secure connection to the server gets some random quotes from Shakespeare. We'll talk more about that. I used ChatGPT to generate 100 famous random quotes from Shakespeare. And then we go ahead and take the quotes we get back, send them over to the particular service that will talk to ChatGPT. And as you can see here, we've got a famous quote from Macbeth, double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. And it goes ahead and analyzes this particular quote and talks about how it's eerie and foreboding, which indeed it is. And then there's another quote here, a little bit longer, a little bit more obscure. Dost thou think because thou art virtuous, there shall be no more cakes and ale? And uh, this is sarcastic and playful in nature. But the key point of this is you can write some interesting code really simply using the R socket mechanisms, using the R2DBC databases, and then have those things abstract away the low level implementation details of talking to the ChatGPT web service. So we'll cover all this on class, and I hope you come and join in the discussion.